Hey guys, Ben here. We live in unprecedented times. Governments from around the world have been printing trillions and trillions of dollars in stimulus packages, while simultaneously government debt is at an all-time high. Now, this could cause a major debt crisis and also hyperinflation. Now, hyperinflation means the devaluing of paper currency, so your US dollar will actually be worth less than it was previously, and this makes complete sense. If there's more dollars or more euros or more British pounds in circulation, then each dollar will actually be worth less. Now, this actually happened many times before, from Germany back in the 1920s to Zimbabwe just a few years ago, and even Venezuela in around 2010, I believe. During those times, you would need a wheelbarrow of cash just to buy a loaf of bread. So what's the solution? Well, I recently did a video on my top five solutions and I really went into depth discussing this potential debt crisis. But in this video, I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into one of those solutions, which is to invest into Sweden. Now, before you guys think I've gone crazy, Sweden is not just known for beautiful landscapes, people, and the pop group ABBA. Diving into this chart here, this is a chart of the percentage of world debt and which countries make this up. We can see the US has a 30% global share of debt with over 21 trillion in government debt. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. The US is the world's largest economy. They should have more debt than smaller countries. Correct. So the key factor that we need to look at is the debt to GDP ratio. So diving into this chart here, we can see the United States is number one when it comes to a balance between debt to GDP ratio and their gross amount of debt. So their debt to GDP ratio is 104%. Now, this is not a list that you want to be number one on. USA, USA, USA. Other countries with even higher debt to GDP ratios include Japan with over 237%. We've got Italy with over 132% of debt to GDP. The United Kingdom's not getting out of this also. They've got a debt to GDP ratio of 86%. But then if we head over to Sweden, they're right down at number 31 on this list with a debt to GDP ratio of just 38%. They only have $214 billion in debt. Now, a small amount of debt is actually helpful for a business or a country or an economy because that can actually feed more growth. So in this video, I'm gonna deep dive into how you guys can invest into Sweden and diversify your portfolio by diving into my top three Swedish stocks. But before we get into that, if you're new around here, why not consider joining the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you wish to take things one step further, hit that first link in the description below to be taken to the Patreon page where you can check out the VIP membership group. There you can gain access to my buy and sell signals. So when I make my moves, you can make your moves and you'll be alerted straight away. In addition, you can gain access to my entire investment portfolio, the stocks and the story of how I built that portfolio from just $20,000 to over $200,000. So if you're interested in that and you wish to find out more, check out that first link in the description. I made a video outlining all the different tiers and packages. So with that being said, let's dive in. Kicking things off at stock number three is Volvo, ticker symbol VOLV. Now this was actually a requested stock by you guys in the community. You wanted to know, could this be a potential turnaround play? Because of course, traditional car manufacturers are not doing very well at the moment. The only car manufacturer type of company which is doing well during this time is Tesla. So Volvo was historically known for safety and their engineer back in 1959 actually invented the V-type three-point safety belt. Volvo was also one of the first manufacturers back in the 90s to offer side and front airbags in cars. Now there's nothing really cool about safety but during that time Volvo was actually one of the best performing stocks and the great investor Peter Lynch actually invested heavily into that company. But since then, Volvo has tried to reinvent itself with some great Swedish design. And interestingly enough, they're one of the leaders in the electric vehicle space in Sweden. So there's some really surprising information here. So Renault heads the EV sales in Europe, but Volvo has the highest EV ratio in Europe. So Volvo boasts the highest EV ratio in its new car sales. More than one in four Volvos sold in Europe today have a plug. So they're heavily electric, so that can mean it's a great play for the future. So Sweden is a very interesting country. They have over a 26% plug-in vehicle market share. So it's clear that they're ahead of the game when it comes to electric vehicles. 
checking out this chart here, you can see what I'm talking about. So the top 20 electric vehicles in Sweden, you can see the first model here is a Volvo, a electric Volvo. Before you get down to Tesla, right down at number six. But that's not all. Volvo plans to make 50% of its vehicle sales come from electric vehicles by 2025. Now, just as a little disclaimer, the majority of these are plug-in hybrid vehicles. Okay, so that's a potential catalyst for Volvo. Okay, so let's dive in to those juicy financials. Here we are on Stockopedia. This is a platform I use to analyze stocks. If you guys wish to check it out and see if it fits your investing style, I've actually got an exclusive 25% off discount link, exclusive only for you guys, the viewers of Motivation to Invest. If you're interested in that, I'll leave that in the description below. I use the platform all the time as you've watched on my videos. Each stock is given a stock rank. It allows you to quickly analyze stocks, but it also goes a little deeper and they have many other financial data on there. So here we are for Volvo. Now the stock rank is currently quite high, 80, but the majority of that is down to momentum. So there is quite a bit of short-term exuberance now at the moment behind the stock. The value is not looking great and the quality is good, but not incredible. Now the value, as far as I can see, is good for the P ratio 15 compared to the industry. So that's pretty good. Um, the PEG ratio, so that's the price to earnings growth ratio, is fairly good also, so a 0.4. Anything less than one on a PEG ratio is very good. Earnings per share grow 53%, which is fairly good. This company did used to pay a dividend of around 3%, but they've recently suspended it, I believe temporarily, due to the global health crisis. Now, to me, that's not a great sign to see, even though they state they are in a strong, healthy cash position. So the previous three-year compound annual growth rate on the sales has been around 12%, which is fairly good for an established company. And the current ratio, which is your cash to your short-term debts, is a 1.4, which is also fairly good. Now, the sales have dropped off in 2020 compared to the previous year. So we can see that as a minus 22% dip, which is not good to see at all. So for me personally, it's not a stock I'm going to be investing into. However, the earnings are coming up very soon. So it might be one you guys wish to watch. And if you're interested in a potential dividend player in the future, then you may be interested in Volvo stock. Okay, onto stock number two is Spotify, the music streaming service. Now, I know what you guys are going to say, Spotify, come on, Ben. Yes, Spotify is a Swedish company, although they are very international, I do admit. It's not really a play on the Swedish market, but I had to include this stock in here. So diving into the numbers for Spotify, stock rank of 62, momentum 77, value 16, quality 83. Now, Spotify is a true growth stock. We've seen a compound annual growth rate on the revenue over the past three years, over 31%. Also from a qualitative side, I find that once users start using Spotify, they start making playlists that can add to a competitive advantage for the company because the customers will effectively become more sticky. Because once you've created a personal playlist on Spotify and the Spotify algorithm finds out what music you like and what new music you may like, then you may be less inclined to switch to a competitor platform. We've got Apple Music, we've got Amazon Music. Those guys are coming in hard and they're coming in fast. They're backed by big tech giants with deep pockets. So that is a major risk for Spotify. But for me personally, as a growth company, I do like this one. Now, bear in mind, this company is unprofitable as they are reinvesting to grow the business. Current ratio could be a little bit better right now at 0.92, but Spotify brand is extremely strong. And they've recently purchased a number of podcasts, including Joe Rogan's podcast. So they're really trying to differentiate themselves from these competitor platforms in the music streaming industry. Now, the last one for those that tuned in for pure Swedish stocks, I'm going to dive in to a very unique Swedish stock. Nobody is talking about this online, even on articles. Nobody's talking about this. I had to really do some in-depth research. I had to translate some articles over from Sweden just to find out some information about this company for you guys. So coming in at number one on my list is a company called Velotti. So the ticker symbol for this company is V-O-L-O. -O. Now, Velotti is a diversified Swedish industrial group. So basically this company, they acquire stable, profitable, long-term businesses at reasonable valuations. So it's a little bit like a mini holding company, but they also improve the management of these companies which they acquire. So the company IPO'd in 2016 and it is split into four areas. So they have their trading business of which they look for strong brands and efficient logistics. They have their consumer business with companies such as Besikta, and um, I've probably pronounced that wrong. This is a leading vehicle inspection company in Sweden. So revenue of approximately $900 million, 
Positive free cash flow, EBITDA growth of 41% um, according to the Q2. So another part of the business is Academy. So this is top consumer brands and they have 50% in-store sales and 50% online sales. And then they have an industry arm of the business which consists of product leaders in their niche. So according to the CEO, they are predicting a double on the stock within the next three to five years, which to me does seem pretty reasonable. They've been growing at a companion growth rate over the past three years of over 28%. Now that is fantastic. Generally, I say a growth stock is one which is growing between 15 and 20% per year. This is growing at 28%. The market cap's still relatively small, less than a billion dollars. So it's a still a relatively small company, but they're acquiring lots of these little Swedish brands, which they know through their own personal local expertise are good companies. You see revenues forecast to increase for 2021, as is net income, as is earnings per share. So the company is profitable. They are cash flow positive. They also pay a dividend of around 1%. According to Stockopedia, the quality for the company is 92. Momentum is 98. Overall stock rank of 95, so fairly high stock rank. What about the valuation? Valuation for the company. Price to sales, 1.18. So you're paying 1.18 times the company's sales, which is pretty good. Peg ratio, 1.5. I would like to see that less than one, ideally. P ratio, 21. So it's not really cheap, but it's an interesting company. Analysts consensus. So there's only two analysts on this stock, surprisingly, and, and two both say it's a buy. The only thing I don't like about this company is they're growing through their acquisition strategy. I'd love to know what percent of their growth is purely from their businesses they've already acquired. That would be great to know. But still, that's a really interesting one if you want a pure play Swedish company, which you're basically trusting their expertise to go out and acquire all these little Swedish companies, which is basically a nice play on the Swedish market if you don't know which little tiny stocks are the best ones to invest into. So if you guys have found value in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. So if you want a pure play way of investing into the Swedish market, you can actually just invest into an ETF which tracks the index for Sweden. So an example of this is the iShares MSCI Sweden ETF. And as you can see, in 2020, they had a 23% return, which was actually greater than the S&P 500. So that could be a very interesting one to watch. There doesn't seem to be that much innovation going on in Sweden at the moment, which is a little bit disappointing. However, I have watched a few documentaries. I've seen a few very, very small companies who do seem quite innovative, but in terms of them being public companies, I've not seen too many at this time, but I will be doing some more research. If any of you guys are from Sweden, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you know the Swedish market well, if you know of any interesting up and coming countries in Sweden and Scandinavia, please do let the community know by commenting that below. I'd love to dive into those companies because I don't think anybody else is talking about it. Everyone's focused on the US and this means we can find greater opportunities in the rest of the world. USA, USA, USA. So if you guys haven't joined the investing family yet, why not consider joining by clicking that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you wish to take things one step further and personally discuss with me about your portfolio, then maybe you should consider joining the VIP membership group. There you can gain access to my buy and sell signals. So when I make my moves, you can make your moves in addition to my entire investment portfolio, the stocks and the story of how I grew that portfolio from $20,000 to over $200,000. So if that's something you guys are interested in, feel free to check out that first link in the description below. With that being said, I hope you guys have a tremendous day. I have so much love for you guys continuing to support this channel, continuing to gain value from this channel each and every day. So please do comment those thoughts below and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.